please call forth Count William of Fairhaven and Master John Inchingham, the fool. <laughs> Are you coming up in here with this? <laughs> Opportunities that are less scary and provides encouragement gently without pushing to help them come out of their shell. And he sees royals or barons or events that want to have a bardic presence and he gathers his whole cohort and he makes it happen. And he does all of this quietly, he doesn't jump up and demand attention, he doesn't want to take credit for all of the people and things that he's helped along the way, he just wants to see them thrive. This is the behavior of a most noble man, and I commend him to you most highly. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, Your Excellency. Is there a member of the chivalry who will attest to Curian's courtesy and chivalry? There is, Your Majesty. <clears throat> Wish to come up here, Your Excellency? I think I could be heard from here. <laughs> I hope so. <clears throat> I'm Count William of Fairhaven, member of your Order of the Chivalry. Another word, other words for chivalry are civility, politeness, gallantry, courtesy. In the near four decades that I have known this man, he has ever been the protector, the nurturer, and the leader of bardic arts, not just in our kingdom, but in other kingdoms. He has spent his time quietly protecting and preserving the legacy of bardic arts across the known world for all of us. He is the Chevalier of the bardic arts. And he is one of my oldest and dearest friends, and it is my honor to commend him to you. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you. Is there a companion of the Order of the Laurel that will attest to the skills and the arts and sciences? 
I am the Lorax. I speak for the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I am Nishra Lucia Elena Braganza, and I would speak for the Order of the Laurel. The Bardic Arts are one of the arts that cross both worlds of art and service. Once a piece has been composed, it can be used to praise, to honor, to celebrate, to inspire, to gather people together, to remember, to record our history. It's not uncommon these days for people to take videos of performances, courts, battle, tournaments, classes. I have several videos on my own phone. However, they're stuck there. <laughs> Kyrian goes the extra tedious mile to, um, of editing, cataloging, labeling, and sharing, making it available to the whole mid-realm, the whole SCA, the whole world. His YouTube channel is shorthand for, hey, look at we do. Look at what we do. <laughs> he has made an art of sharing the art of all of us. He has also made it a mission to capture the works of performers, great and small, so that as our cadre inevitably ages and sails into the West, they are not completely lost. Katrina Pilgrim, El Asuswinder. Kyrian may not be able to save lives, but he certainly preserves them. That which is remembered lives. This is service. This is worth. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a member of the Order of the Pelican who can attest to Kyrian's service? Hi, Your Majesty. Would you like to come up, or are you good? Here. Oh. Show them straight. Hi, Master Kane. Go. <laughs> Hi, Master John Enti and the Bull. <laughs> I'll speak of the service that Kiri encountered briefly. Kyrian is here today because he saw a thing that needed doing, and he did it. No one told him to do it. He didn't get any support, monetary or otherwise, from the kingdom. He just saw a thing that needed doing, and he did it. And that enables him to join this order of doers. Look at the people in front of this dais. They are the folks who run the society. They are the workhorses of the SCA. Humility is not what Inchinghams do best. <laughs> and I was humbled to be asked to join this order nearly a quarter of a century ago. And today I am proud to welcome my friend, Master Kyrian, into our ranks. Behalf. Hi, I'm over in the populist section. <laughs> I'm the one that does that count towards the six minutes. <laughs> so I'm Nihila Stormbringer, a humble bard. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kieran, you're sitting down. Stay sitting because I'm going to say nice things about you. <laughs> and I know I promised that I would never do that unless I was dying. <laughs> I thought that this was a worthy thing. History is ephemeral. We complain and complain about the things that we would love to have and know about, but we don't have the extant sources. Bards capture the ephemeral in their words, their stories, their songs. And yes, a performance in and of itself is the most ephemeral thing. Kyrian Cantor has, as everyone said, captured not just the works of the bards, but fights, elevations, courts, misdeeds. <laughs> <laughs> he has 3,200 plus videos 
on his YouTube page. He has also created a website that contains links to Bard's songs, to our classes, to a search engine that not just searches his site, but Town Song and several out of print SK songbooks. This man has preserved history from the very beginning of the SCS. But that is not just why he is worthy. Kirian is my lord. He has long been like an older brother, a pain in my side, <laughs> and yet beloved. He has been a mentor. He has been a person who teaches us how to be chosen family. He has outstretched and included my belt siblings, my students, into a family that I longed to have. He has made my life easier, not just as a bard, but as a seneschal. He didn't know this, but with all his works, this makes my life easier. I can send people to this. It's wonderful. But he has made my life easier. He has made my life richer. He has made my life incredible. He has taught me that it is better to apologize than to ask permission. <laughs> <laughs> and he has taught me that shenanigans are best done behind the scenes so that others get blamed for it. <laughs> I have nothing but love in my heart for Kyrian. He knows this, although I tease him to death about it. Your Majesties, I cannot think of anyone better than to put feathers on. <laughs> I commend him to you, my dear Laurel, and now... Thank you. Right mindful of your service to the society and responsive to the wishes of your peers, we are resolved to create you master of the poets. Which creature will nourish her young when necessary with the blood of her own breath, and therefore has been chosen as the most appropriate symbol of service to our society. Therefore, will you, Kyrian, give us your words to continue to fulfill the requirements set forth to the government of this order, as you must surely have till now. I will. Will you increase your labors nobly, increase your talents as it befits one of your rank, and seek to disseminate your talents and abilities throughout the society? I will. Do you promise to train any dependents you may have to serve as you have served? I will. What we need now are the medallions. The medallion. <coughs> there are three, Your Majesty. <laughs> one, two, three. This medallion was commissioned by <coughs> Mistress Laurel I. Sky and created by soon to be Master Gregory Bryant. Then take from our hands the symbol of nobility and token of our esteem. We are proudly that all may recognize your service as we have acknowledged it this day. Is there a cloak? There is a stunt cloak. <laughs> cloak is being constructed by Mistress Lorelei Sky. This one belongs to my lady, Mistress Mari Pignandai. Kyrian, wear this cloak as an outward token of your new station. Is there a cap? There is a stunt cap of me. <laughs> New one is being constructed by Mistress Margaret Melise. This one belongs to my lady wife, Mistress Mari in <laughs> Wear this cap of maintenance as a symbol of your service. Carrie, are you prepared to swear fealty? I am. Okay. 
I here swear fealty and do homage to the crown of the Middle Kingdom, to serve the crown in all things, to remember courtesy and kindness, to prize justice above personal gain, to labor for the common good, to enrich the kingdom and the society so they may flourish and grow, and to be worthy of the title Pelican. Hereby my honor, my hand, and my heart swear I, Jerry and Cantor. This do we hear and shall never forget, nor fail to reward that which is given, fealty with love, service with honor, and oath-breaking with justice. So, Master Carrion, you've requested to be done. In remembrance of oaths given and received, in remembrance of your lineage and obligation, be thou a good pelican. Rise, Master Carrier. <laughs> <laughs> we present to you the newest member of the Pelican, Master Carrion!